Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone video and on this video I am going to show you all another very unique location in order to take out the Sawmill Horde. Now, I know what you're all thinking folks, there has been rather a lot of these lately um, so I'm very selective about showing any more of these now because I have found one or two others but they've not been fantastic ones. But the location that I'm about to show you is all is a fantastic area um, a couple of reasons folks first of all it is super easy to get to the location it really is one of the easiest in terms of the methods and the second one is it's one of the methods you can really have the most fun with so i'm just making sure that i've definitely got the numbers coming over now i'm heading through this tree area and i'm heading for this area here and you actually won't believe this once i actually get to the top here Look at this, it's almost like a, a ledge just made for sawmill horde killing. <laughs> so, I'm going to take the time to start with some gunplay, because uh, taking the horde out this way is... There's no two ways about it, you have to make two trips in order to get the entire horde. You can't take them all out in one visit. But, it is so easy to get them to this location. And I'm starting off basically by taking them all out with gunplay at this spot here. You do have the luxury of being able to manoeuvre the horde around as well. I'm just choosing to start off like this because it is just fantastic for the gunplay. You are so close to them and don't get me wrong folks, this is not an untouchable location. They can get to you but it's once in a blue moon that one will get near to you. Uh, they really do have to get quite a number very close to you and one will just manage to get over the edge but uh, it so rarely happens if you're good on the gunplay you won't have an issue now i'm going to take out the last of them just by basically moving the majority of them over to the other side here and you'll see what i mean in just a second here if i go to this area here watch them now i do have the luxury of survival vision uh, and here we go. Uh, the second part of this horde, when I'm taking them out, I'm going to take them all out here and I'm just going to absolutely hit them hard with napalm molotovs. But uh, this area here is actually very nice after you've been taking out the majority of the first wave um, with gunplay because obviously the pile of freaker bodies over there is immense and you're, unless you do have the luxury of survival vision, you're going to be struggling to see where they are. So this is just a handy way of uh, getting rid of them when it gets uh, near the end. Okay, folks, finally peace and quiet. That is the first of the two waves. So at this point, I'm just going to basically do a little bit of manoeuvring with the bike because you don't have a great deal of space to work with here, but it's not that difficult. You just take it slowly and then turn the bike around and then from here, it's off that way, and it's all good. I'm basically looking to get the rest of the horde. Now then, folks, while I'm heading back over here to get the rest of the horde, it's uh, a pretty good time to actually uh, mention about the fact that this particular location was not discovered by myself. It was discovered by a fellow YouTuber that goes by the name of Le Petit Ozo. No. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have just completely butchered the French language here, but I will bring it up on screen very briefly as to the name of this person. And uh, I cannot thank you enough, my friend, because uh, it's one of the best locations I have ever seen for taking out the sawmill horde. It's really that much fun. Now, at this point, folks, I'm pretty confident that I now have the last of the sawmill horde heading towards this location. So. It's just a nice, easy uh, bike ride up this area here. Getting onto this top section. And again, from here. Doesn't really matter too much where you park the bike, but I like to have it, yeah, about there. And from there, just get off, and then I'm looking to get them all to this point right here. Because guaranteed then I will get them all over to this area. And truth be told folks if you actually decide to take out the entire horde from this area which i will show in the next run this spot here is untouchable it doesn't matter how hard they go at trying to get to your location 
via the World War Z tactics, it's just too high. And I'm basically going to go to town on the next run by showing a lot of the other throwables that you normally probably wouldn't consider because they can be a bit dangerous. But in the next run, they are going to get it with everything. <laughs> but right now, I'm just looking to uh, use the Napalm Molotovs just to get the job done nice and uh, easily here. And this isn't going to take too long. And as you can see, folks, this is such a pleasurable way of taking out the sawmill horde. There we go, that's some done and dusted. Once you're up on this ledge area up here, you have so much room to move about and pretty much hassle-free. So for that reason alone, anybody who is not very comfortable with the sawmill horde, you really should have a ball once you're up here. So, that is the first run done. On to run number two. Right then folks, on this run I am going to have a lot of fun because I don't normally go daft with uh, the resources because it takes a long time to get a hold of them uh, but given that the Sawmill Horde is the largest in the game it's a case of why the hell not I'm just basically going to take them over to the location and I'm going to take them over to the area that is untouchable and then from there, I'm just going to absolutely let them have it with all sorts. Pipe bombs, grenades, you name it. Whatever I've got to throw at these bastards, they are getting it. So, so as always, you just look to basically get their attention. And then it's just a nice stroll over to this area. And this really is as easy as it gets, folks. And I would definitely rate this as probably about the third easiest way there is to take out the Sawmill Horde. Uh, but I've just felt I had to show this because this is one of the best. And truth be told folks, if I'd known about this location before my previous video where I showed the five easiest methods, this one would have made it onto that top five because I consider it that good. But anyhow folks, I'm just going to continue with my reign of terror from this fantastic spot and I'm just basically going to get rid of just about everything that I have here in order to take them out. So. That's just about all of my pipe bombs, I'm not going to go with grenades, and there we go, that is a perfect example folks, you can still get hit from the explosions of some of these, but you are so high up, and the blast actually just throws you back, that you're still in no danger. Just another beauty uh, of this particular location, it really is, there is so much to like about taking out the horde this way. Right, at this point I can see the numbers are fairly uh, dwindling down, so let's see what else I've got here to use. Yeah, I want to keep the Napalm Molotovs for the second wave, so I'm just basically going to go with normal Molotovs here, and this should do the job nicely. Don't get me wrong, there's one or two of them. When I get down to about the last three or four, I'll just take them up with gunplay, because it's easier. But uh, at the same time, it's no hardship. <laughs> And another beauty of this area, if you need to just rearrange your uh, position just to take out the, the various freakers, because they do sometimes stand in some awkward spots, you have the luxury of doing that from here. It is just such a superb location, folks. Honestly, I've tested this out a few times and just had so much fun with it. And it is one of the easiest methods you will ever get for taking out uh, the Sawmill Horde. Like I say, this will probably be the last of these sort of locations. I did say before, I have found one or two others, but uh, now, unless they are really easy and really effective methods, I'm just not going to bother showing them, but this one obviously is the exception. It is that bloody good, folks. Now, the one thing I will add when you're trying to get the second wave over is don't take for granted that you definitely always have the horde because I have on one or two occasions uh, thinking I had the entire horde then started to go at full belt to get to the location only to discover that the sawmill horde had stopped chasing me. So this is why I take it at this sort of slow pace. But you can really do it safely folks. There is so little risk uh, doing it this way. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty damn good. Okay, 
Yep, that is the rest of them en route, so it's Napalm Molotov's time. Yeah, just waiting so I can get a few more of them. That's it. The Napalm Molotovs generally take out, especially when they're congregated like this, take out about 60 to 70 at a time. Um, and you don't require the use of attractors either in this uh, location, so it's just happy days. <laughs> Okay, about another three of these should do the job because it doesn't look like there's that many of them left. Yeah. I take it all back. I think this <laughs> Nippon Molotov might just do the job. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Nope, it's going to have to be another Molotov. I could have gone with an A-Palm, but it's like, what the hell? I know I'm going to take out the last of them with this one, so... And there we go, folks. Job done. And that is it, folks. That is another fantastic location for you all to take out the Sawmill Horde. Doesn't matter what level you are playing this game on, whether it is normal, hard to, or survivor to... They basically don't stand a chance when you when you take them out like this. It's just that good, folks. So it's quite literally just getting off this area again, which I'll show. It's quite an easy affair in order to get off. Just need to manoeuvre the bike. I'm just going to park it up and just show the quality of my devastation here. Because it's quite a sight to behold when you see it like this. Yes, very nice. <laughs> And that is the video, folks. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.